Unreal Engine 5.6 is just around the corner, but we're getting a early sneak peek at some of the UI changes coming soon. Now, don't expect a massive overhaul. These are just some minor refinements, but some of them could actually improve your workflow and make it just a little bit smoother. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be checking out Unreal Engine 5.6 upcoming UI changes based on early previews. And it's not a revolution, but there are just some small yet handy updates you want to see before the full release. And the release date is probably set sometime this June, since the state of Unreal is actually happening during Unreal Fest in June this year. And usually Epic follows a bi-yearly release schedule. So typically that means, you know, one release in the spring, early summer, and then one release in the fall. So over here, this user on Twitter actually showed us a sneak peek of Unreal Engine 5.6. I believe you can get this or download this right now on the GitHub. So you can get your hands on the early access version. But I was just scrolling through Twitter and having to see this, and it looks like they've made some changes to the main user interface mainly like the viewport of Unreal Engine 5.6. So as you can see, they've made some major changes to the different scaling gizmos, uh, the perspective tools, all of the viewport tools, like the different lit modes to change to unlit wireframe. What they've essentially done is they've created sort of like this bar that's built into the viewport. So previously they just had those buttons kind of hanging on in the corner of the viewport. But now in 5.6, it looks like they actually have their own separate bar. And they even took some of the different things and moved them around. So the uh, movement gizmos, the snapping tools were previously on the right hand of the screen, but now it looks like they're on the left. So it looks like they swapped them around as well as the perspective, like the viewport uh, view modes and the wireframe mode, all that stuff is moved over to the right. So it looks like they just did a little swap around. So it's not really a huge change, but it will throw some people off because, because I know things, for example, like my tutorials, uh, people are gonna be like, where is this button now? It actually moved if they're following a older tutorial. But in addition to that, it looks like they've added more different buttons in the modeling menu. So it looks like they're updating and improving just the modeling menu and workflow. And also this is another video uh, just showcasing some of the modeling tool modes, editing the actual mesh uh, vertices. So this is actually like a new gizmo, I guess, where you can modify the actual vertices and manipulate them in the engine, which I think is pretty neat. But yeah, in the modeling mode as well, you can see that there are many more buttons as well on the viewport, that top bar. So it looks like if you change into a different mode, there's gonna be different uh, buttons. So I think this will affect every aspect of the engine. So like every time you see a viewport, like in, for example, in the blueprint editor or in the animation blueprint or in control rig, uh, all of the viewports are gonna be changed with, with that new little toolbar. So yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see some of these changes uh, when Unreal Engine 5.6 actually gets released, come around June. It's also important to note that some of these things that we're seeing might be completely different as well. So oftentimes Epic changes things like last minute, you know, so just note that you know, what you're seeing on the screen might not actually be what we might see in the actual official release. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys a sneak peek at some of the new UI changes in Unreal Engine 5.6. Let me know what you guys think about these little minor changes down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.